Hello. <coughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, man. This is unbelievable. I have a sign in my inventory. What, what a coincidence. You know what we should do? We should take this sign and write something on it. Yes, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Let's, uh, let's write something that will make us smile. How about, uh, go get... No, 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 not that. No. Yeah, you are. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. It says, go get your snacks. Ah, yes. What a wonderful message. Perfectly normal sign. Nothing strange whatsoever about it. You'd have to be crazy if you thought it said something else. Welcome to Season 8 of Hermitcraft. Hello, everybody. This is Etho, and welcome back to another episode of Her Hermitcraft. Oh, it's my, I've, I've climbed this mountain like a hundred times now. It's not getting any easier. You can still do the bucket drop if you have an axolotl in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's pain <laughs> for the axolotl. You, you just, it's like a, a cushion when you land, you know? Proud of you. That was all of it. No, I saw your switch. I saw your switch. <laughs> I saw your switch. There we go. Get it out. There we go. Proud of you. That, that's all of it now. Definitely none left. Ethan, I saw you pick that one up. You jumped down to pick it it's up. It's calcite. Mm, no. Oh, we didn't buy it. <laughs> so this one time, I was like watching some Canadian hockey on television, and I noticed the fire in my wood stove was about to go out, and my my log cabin was about to get very cold if I let that happen. So I had to go out and get some more firewood. So I put on my red plaid uh, jacket and my snowshoes. I went outside into the pine forest but before i left i also grabbed some uh, maple flavored canadian bacon to to chew on as i walked towards the trees and while i was walking to find a nice tree to chop down a grizzly bear jumped out of the bushes and started to attack me to get my my canadian bacon and we, we wrestled and then after a while i was like sorry we can just share and and then we we said sorry to each other and we we made up and we shared the canadian bacon and i chopped down a tree and we were best friends and it was amazing <laughs> Welcome to Hermitcraft! We're playing in the nether today. None of us have started out in the nether before. We want to see how tough it is. Oh, I shook his head. No, that that's, means he's agreeing with me. Uh, we want to see how <laughs> tough it is to get from the nether to the overworld. So that I've got uh, some more diamonds. Uh, yeah. Well... Yes. Add. Oh, okay. But you benefited from the new diamonds. Yes, of course. They were wonderful. Okay. Don't give someone a fish. You give them a fishing rod. Exactly. You don't give them a potato. You give them a poisonous potato. <laughs> so that they die and you get all their food. Limited <laughs> <laughs> stock. Shulker boxes. Four diamonds each. Oh, okay. Calm down. Calm down. We'll, we'll take one. We'll take one. No, we got to get at least two. Ah. Uh, we gotta we gotta save some for the other people on the server though, you know. Probably every, everybody wants shulker boxes. Oh, but now that one's floating, I should get one as well. 
Uh, I don't want to hog them all, though. You know, other people need shulker boxes for sure. Okay, so this might make me look a little bit bad. But hear me out. Wait a second. Don't judge me just yet. Corellis actually has three of these stores around the server. This is our local one by me and Iskal. And pretty much we're the only ones that live near this store. So he's pretty much built this store for just me and Iskel, right? It's not bad if I hoard the entire stock here, right? I did kind of get started on a rabbit farm here. Don't jump out. Don't jump out. Uh, we lose half of them every once in a while, but it's, it's fine. It, it, it's highly efficient. 